So accepting where you at, where you are at is really, really key. And it's really, really important when you're working towards a goal. Because when you want something so bad, it's really easy. When I want something so bad, it's real easy for me to get kind of wrapped up in that vision of what I want and I want it. I want it now. Can't I just have it now? Can't I just do it now? I want it now. It is like, you know, now is not even soon enough to have it because you just want it and want it and want it. But in that um, acceptance and understanding, okay, this is what I want. I guess this is the best way to say it. When you see that shiny thing, and that's what you want, and you make right now wrong until you have that, <coughs> that is not ever going to get to you, or it's going to be a lot, it's going to take a lot longer to get to it. But when you can say, okay, I made it to this point, and I'm going to celebrate the heck out of where I'm at right now, and understand that the only reason that I want the next thing is because I got right here, and you can get into gratitude for the circumstances that you currently have, then that, that's really truly accepting the situation. And that acceptance and that gratitude for the situation opens up the energetic space and the possibility for things to start happening to where you can move to that next thing. Because if you don't even appreciate where you are right now, why should you be given more? Because you're not going to appreciate it. And even when you obtain it, you're not going to appreciate it. So in my gratitude, I am so grateful that I am over 200 pounds and that I'm feeling this misery and that I'm feeling this inner conflict and that I'm thinking about the repercussions of what this is going to have on my future and I'm thinking about the repercussions that this could have on my family. And I am really, really grateful that I know what I know right now, that I am who I am right now, and that I am where I'm at in that acceptance and that gratitude of every day making choices that are that's going to serve my greater outcome and being glad that I made the choice so far in the day or so far in the week or so far in the month or so far in the year to going towards my goal when I can stay in that appreciation for where I am and understand that the only reason I want the next five pounds off is because I got the last five pounds off instead of I'm only down five pounds and I got 50 more to go that's a whole different energy that you you put behind it. Instead of like, I'm down five pounds. I am down five pounds, and that's five pounds less than I ever have to worry about, and I'm going to go and celebrate in a healthy way. <laughs> 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 this five pounds being gone, and I love the heck out of myself, and I am amazing and wonderful, and if I don't ever lose another pound, I'm so blessed to have released those five pounds. The next five is going to be off before you even turn around and realize what happened. But when you sit there and just focus on what you don't have and where you're not at and what's not happening in your life. What you're going to get is more not having, not happening, and not doing and being in your life. Because what you focus on expands. 